Hello everyone, Jack here from Second Gear and welcome yourselves back to the Knife of Dunwall DLC for Dishonored. So we are over here in the legal district and we are after, what is his name? Arnold Timish, Barrister Arnold Timish. So we actually saved his niece, who there's kind of a family feud with at the moment last episode, from the Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter Gang. So that was fun, they were kind of utterly ridiculous and a piss poor enemy to fight, but still. Ooh, hello, I haven't, even, <laughs> I haven't actually even looked for bone charms. Well, when didn't we have this last time? Hell yes. But yeah, so we're over here in the legal district. We got to eliminate that barrister as well as, uh, what was the other objective? There was something else. We have an optional task of doing Granny's recipe, which is from the 78, draw the world, which I have no idea what that is. So I guess we're going to have to find out. But we are going to need our void gaze on just to have a little look-see. Oh my god, there's one, two, three, four runes, two more bone charms. Oh my god. How are there four runes? You know, I'm not even going to complain. This is great for me. That means we should be able to... Wait. We should be able to get Blink to level two, and then we can get Void Gaze and then Summon Assassin. So yeah, that, that should be fan-bloody-tastic. Now, there's a guy down here. I'm not sure if you're an enemy or not. Wait. It's Dowd, oh, isn't it? Oh, okay. You wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's okay. the address. But I doubt you can get inside from the streets. Why not? There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. Ooh. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Oh, very nice. Consider it your payment in advance. All right. Fair enough. So, I'm still going to kill him, and I'm not going to ruin him financially and take his home away from him. Then that, let that be it. Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's going to die, so whatever your plan is, I'm just going to take your payment and do what I want anyway. So, it doesn't really matter either way. Now, what do we got here? Two watchmen. Hmm. Right. Let's hop over here, and hopefully we have a rewire tool. I doubt we do. Now no, we don't. Okay, so let's just turn it off. You got the orders from Timsh, right? Alright. And... Fire! Ah! Alright, let's hop over here. They don't know we're here, so that's good. We're still undetected. Alright, abandoned apartment up here. And I'm pretty sure this is where the runes are too. So there's one rune in here. There's... There's just lots of runes around, but it seems to be too bright to actually see them quite yet, so we need to wait till we're in a dark area. Which we're probably going to get by coming in here. Let's just hope there aren't any weepers in here. I think we should be safe. Yep, it looks like we're safe. Okay, what is this? Eviction document. Uh, apartment 10 key. Roland's journal. So if you want to read Roland's journal, because I sure as hell don't, because it's kind of pointless for me. Because I'm just going to kill Timish anyway. So you can pause here. And here. I actually expected it to be a hell of a lot longer than that. Okay, what do we got? Apartment 10 is over there. We got the key for it. And there's something here. Ooh. Okay, just pull it down and one room down. Four more, five more to go. Good God. Alright, so this looks like Timish's place. The outpost is over there, which is what the, is what Billy said we had a supply. Like a supply over there. Supply drop, supply cash, whichever you want to call it. But we're going to head over to apartment 10 first. If we can, that is. Can I come... Nope, can't go up there. Alright, we're going to have to go the long way around then, it seems. That's fine by me. Yep. There we go. I love this freeze time thing. It's just so good. And Billy's here. Hey, Billy. How you doing? Right, we've got an area map. Reconnaissance notes. Timish's estate basement key. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. Alright, yes please. And we also have reconnaissance notes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. This could probably be useful information. Timish is a vigorous... Uh, wait, is vigorous for a man of his age. He knows to keep himself armed with a sword and pistol even when he's in his own home. He's, one of, uh, he's been observed to be generally restless and mobile. 
pacing throughout the building. From this, uh, from his bedroom on the top floor to the lobby of the law offices on the ground floor, Timish keeps his mother's will in his chest. What? In a storage room, wait, in his chest in a storage room near the lobby on the ground floor. Front door leads to the law offices. Lobby spaces, spaces two stories high with balconies overlooking the lobby floor. Second balcony on the facade glass doors leads directly to Timish's office. Top floor balconies on the right and left of the building easy access. A back, uh, a back door leads to the, into the basement. It's kept locked, but the key was easy to find. A dumbwaiter to accessible in the basement connects in, uh, connects all floors, but it's a one-way trip. Once you get out, the panel shuts and the platform returns to the basement. Damn. All right. Fair enough. So this should be pretty simple. Billy, any advice? His lordship, the barrister, is up in his bedroom. Top floor. Don't make me describe what's happening. All right. All right, fair enough. Whatever. Ah, um, Billy is our lieutenant. I say that is a fantastic choice. Right, we've got a bone charm down there. We have... I'm just trying to f see the damn runes. I can't see them. Right, there's a rune over there. See this? Ah, damn it. Right, we're gonna... Okay, uh, just, just, just hop there. Whoop. Didn't see me. You didn't see me. Right, what is this? Party crew. What is it? Summoned assassins deal more damage. Actually, that could be really good for us. Uh, can I put it on? Unfortunately not. What else I got? Uh, Alright. Overpowering. Or have we got another one? Okay, no. No, we'll, we'll put uh, hearty crew on there. We'll get an expansion for our bone charms later. Alright. Is there anything down here? Right, we got a... There we go. We got a bone charm, we got a rune, we got a rune, and we got a rune up there. But we need to get over to apartment 10. Which is, ooh, hello, nope, not going to deal with you. Even though we are doing a Chaos playthrough, I understand this, but not every fight has to be fought. Don't see me. Right, just hop there. Hop there. Right, it's good, it's good. This looks like the basement door. Yes, it is. That's good to know. Oh, do not just recklessly jump up like that. I didn't actually expect it to jump that way. Okay, we've got apartment 10 over here. Well, we have got a guard coming towards us. Okay, down there. Are we going to find the entrance to apartment 10 down here? Something tells me it is doubtful, but it doesn't really matter. Really, in a situation like that, we need to continue going forward rather than uh, backtrack. Alright, where's the door? That looks like it's gonna. that's going to be our door over here. No, it is not. Uh, is there anything here I can take? No? Well, there is a guy over here, so we can just thank you for actually killing him. I was not expecting it to kill him. Shit, someone's dead. No, 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 they're not. No, they're not. Okay, we need to get out of here. How the hell do I get into apartment 10? Seriously, is there anything on our notes? Non lethal, uh, find the odorous sack in apartment 10. What? Switch the documents in Timish's belt, uh, belt pouch. Kill the, uh, find the last will and testament of Timish's mother. Kill the barrister. So, I just want to get to apartment 10 for the room. That's all. I don't want anything. Uh, I don't want anything else. It is literally to get the room and get out. And then continue doing what I'm doing. Alright, bit of money. Not bad. Wouldn't you like to know? Right, come on. I know you're here. Yep, and I know you're here. I just don't know where you are. That's the... Oh, bollocks. Oh, I'll find you. Is he still alive? Or is his body just glitching out over there? Please be dead. Okay. Okay, apparently I can just move like this, clean through them without them even knowing. Alright, bullets. Basement key. That's easy. That's fair enough. Over here. Mine. No, when you find me, you ain't gonna do shit. You know why you did. That is why. Okay, there's also one private over here. That is a really long slide. Hey, come on. Come on, it's just one more guard and then we're safe. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. You son of a bitch. Why did you have to turn around? You know, it doesn't really matter. Everyone's dead. We have free reign of this area now. Question is, how? <gasps> come on. you got to be able to reach that. No. Damn. All right, we'll try from a different angle. We're just a tiny bit higher. Peak of the jump. Sweet, we made it. 
and apartment 10. Well, that was really good, actually. Oh, dear. Okay, odorous sack. Don't want it. I just want the stuff. Cultist scribings. This one was a teacher. She used to teach the children about uh, about the black-eyed one she saw in her dreams. No one knew. But then one of the children went into a trance and began to cry her name. Then the overseers came. Oh, alright. Well, we found the odorous sack. Cultist scribings. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he didn't know what they were. He used to pray to them. Alright. Fair enough. I'm not picking up the odorous sack. I ain't doing it. It's non-lethal. You know I don't do anything non-lethal. And we have a room in the back here. Hopefully without any weepers around. Because I do not like the weepers. Wait. But, 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 but. How am I meant to... Ooh, hello. I was about to say, how am I meant to actually get to... Oh, Jesus. Get to the room. Well, here we are. Here's my answer. I always wondered. Oh! What does he smell like? Rotting flesh, wild flowers. Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. I don't know, Billy, but clearly you have been blessed with the outsider's gift. Here's one last lesson for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was until too late. It was too late. Yep. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. Hmm. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead. And the waters are rising. And the waters rising. Rothwild's gone and his slaughterhouse is burned to the ground. Even the Empress couldn't boast of a funeral pyre so grand. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. Ooh. You and I just... Days. I hope it was enlightening. More scary beyond I belief. I hope he dies a lingering death. Jesus, Billy. Calm yourself. But, uh, no. I just thought of something. What about if Delilah is Granny Rags? Because... That guy looks old as hell. And what about if Granny Rags was... Her actual name is Delilah? I don't know. It's possible, right? I mean, they both look round about the same age. Or a similar age. Uh, we've got two runes over here. Bone charm down at the bottom. Alright. Fair enough. Question is... The rune is on that floor. I'm getting it. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. You didn't see shit. You didn't see anything. Okay, uh, what's the best way to dispatch him? We only have one wrist bow bolt left. Okay, that's gonna have to do it. Just don't tell me anyone heard that. All right, come here. Da -da -da. 50 gold. Well. Oh boy, you're rather well off, aren't you? How much is Timish paying you? Oh, there's, there's treasure in there. Is there anyone in here? No. Mine. My stuff. A uh, poem by Delilah. When pretty Emily woke one day, she saw the world a different way. Her eyes now looked with a stranger's guile. Her dainty mouth smiled a stranger's smile. Her hands now worked the stranger's wrath. Her feet now walked a stranger's path. Emily fed, another grew stronger. The stranger's, uh, the stranger's cravings drove her onward. And no one who looked on Emily's face ever guessed who ruled in Emily's place. Okay. Nice poem. Lovely. Alright, we got another rune. Is that meant to be Delilah or someone else? I'm going to go ahead and guess someone else. Actually, hold on. Does that look a bit like David... No, it doesn't. I was about to say, look like David Bowie. No. No, that's an insult. Okay. Blink level 2 or void gaze? Blink or void gaze? Blink. Of course it's going to be blink. What else is it going to be? We need five runes for the summon assassin or two runes for void gaze. So void gaze is definitely going to be next. And get a bit of food. Now, where's the other room? 19 meters, so it is in the house. And we've got a bone charm at the bottom. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. He is asleep. And now I can just 
safely dispatch him. There we go. Wonderful. Do 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 being a sneaky assassin. Even though we didn't remove the helmet and or the uh, sword. Yes, quite. Alright, so Timish isn't actually up. Oh no, he is on the top floor. But we need to get down to the basement. This is a bathroom with no one in it. Wonderful. Good for me. Can I? Ooh, coin. Drink. Doesn't that, does, isn't this meant to give us uh, mana? Or is it meant to give us health? I don't remember. Toilet. Okay. Right. I don't think there's any more guards up here. But at the same time... Oh, God. Uh, what, what the... Okay. That kind of freaked me out there for a second. Didn't quite understand what was going on. All right, fruit for me. My fruit. Not yours. You're too rich for fruit. I hear the rune singing to me. I must have you soon. Okay. So this is safe to open. Just leads back down here. All right. Well, after we've cleared the top floor, then we can head back down to the basement, or head to the basement, grab the bone charm, then we can murder this prick, who is most likely in that door. <sighs> I want it. You know, we'll get it just before we kill Timish. All right? And I'm pretty sure we're actually going to need the uh, sleep darts, considering we haven't got any more bolts. Which sucks to be us, but it's okay. All right, mine. Anyone around here? I can't find the barrister. Doesn't he know General Turnbull is coming? Turnbull? Upstairs in his study. What the boy is that? Ah, oh, bollocks. And here's me wanted to be nice and quiet. No. Fire. No. Just, just stop. Boys, you ain't no match for someone who's blessed by the outsider. Okay, right, screw it. We've already been made. Come on, Tumble. Mine. 150 gold. It looks like he may be staying in his, uh, in his room. And even if he isn't, he's still got to come downstairs, so. Right. Timish War Medal. Mine. There's a chest down here and an urn. Benedict, I need to know what you expect regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I wouldn't hesitate to invent a plague infection complaint against them and have all their assets seized. But they have a link to the boils, and they, as you know, are on the do not touch list. It's hitting a little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means. Murder? Perhaps? Hey, should we re- Trash, if you ask me. Okay. I was about to say, shall we ring the alarm bell? A repair notice. Staff uh, Barrister Timish was complaining about squeaking in these doors, so they've been removed until the repair order comes in. Please do, uh, please don't throw anything down the shaft or anything childish. Can I blink through? Yes. Where does this lead to? Just a closet. With a sockle of health elixir. Don't mind if I do. And it just leads back out here, so that's fine. Right, you need a key? Damn. Achoo! No one heard a thing. It's fine. Right, 150 gold. That was lovely. Now that door's clear. We know that door over there is clear. Nearly down to the basement, people. Bottom. Bottom. Da -da 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 Timsh has gotten off to. Another fight with that shrew of a niece. He's gone to the top floor to cool off where it's quiet. Hmm? Nope. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. In fact, come here. Go under there where no one's gonna... Come here. And go under here where no one's gonna find you. Or see you very easily. Okay? Good. Alright, we're doing well. Even though that last floor was an utter shitstorm, granted. But shush. We don't speak of failures in this. Uh, the young prince of Tivia. If you wish to read about Nathan Boyle, or Lord Nathan Boyle, you may pause here. And here. Uh-oh. 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 Bad. Could the city be even worse? Chances are very good. Sweet. Shut the door. Shut the door. There we go. Come here. Ooh, lovely. Cigarettes. And somehow throwing a body on him actually <laughs> put the candles out. Fair enough. Whatever. Okay, that was a little jittery there. What the hell is going on here? And it looks pretty safe so far. 
Right, we've still got our sleep darts on, so that's good. Just for quickly dispatching someone. Wow, that painting looks good. Hold on. We, I want to get a closer look at that when everyone's dead. Ah, the Academy of Natural Philosophy. If you wish to know about the Academy of Natural Philosophy, you may pause here. Moving on. What are these things? Because these things can't be lanterns. Because what's with all the lenses? Kind of looks a bit weird, don't you think? Right, we know there's going to be a minimum of two guards down here. Ah. Oh no, the servants. Wonderful. Now that is a really good painting. Even though it's of a complete and utter twat. Still good. Wait, can I just... Whoop. Thank you. Okay. Thompson. What's going on there? Oh no! No oh, no! I'm not in here. I'm not anywhere. 78 card tarot deck. Draw a random tarot card. Take the tarot card, the world. And draw the world. She says draw the world, not take it specifically. Draw a random tarot card. The five of swords. Draw, seven of skulls. Draw the boatman. The boatman. Nine of rats. Nine of rats. Ten of skulls. Two of rats. You know what, let's just... Okay, that was it. <laughs> Alright, what is from the 78 draw? The... Lay the tarot card, the world at the feet of uh, the one with the eyes of the blackest void. Okay, so that means we've got to go back to apartment 10. Okay, Granny Rags, what, what are you playing at? I don't quite know. Hopefully it's going to pay me in a room. That I would very much like. But if not, it's okay. Because I know you die in the end anyway for being so stingy with the runes. Alright, how many of you are in this room? Just the one at the moment. Fine. Mine. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Don't be in here. Don't tell me he's in the washroom. Good. Right, uh... Nope, you're a civilian, so I'm not going to kill you. Well, technically they're civilian. Note on chamber pots. All of the chamber pots are currently out for cleaning. Please refrain from pissing all over the over the bare wood. <laughs> Go piss in the back alley if you can't hold it. If the staff complains to me again, I'm giving each of you a bathroom to clean using only your socks. Understand? That's pretty good punishment. You gotta admit, and it, 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 it is. And that's the dumb waiter. And right, where Someone's is? Supposed to be on duty over here. Yep. And it's not you. You know why? Because you are unconscious. And thank you for the gold. It's very much appreciated. It's going to a good cause, so don't worry. Uh, note to Gerwin. I understand your uh, your concern about security, but I trust in the security of a key hanging around my own belt, not a combination lock. A combination lock can be guessed, cracked, or bribed, but with a simple lock and key, a oh, wait, the contents of my archives remain safe. As for lockpicks, a fable. I've never known such a thing to truly exist. Oh, you silly, silly man. Well, something is throbbing. Ah, and it would be you. Okay, well, we know everyone's gone, so mine. 100 gold. Makes for good favours in the next round, eh? Unless this is the last mission, which gets one, I'm incredibly disappointed. And two, it, this, that just sucks. Note from a lawyer. Um, a, when are we going to get a secretary? I can never find any other documents filed by J and S. Doesn't seem to file, doesn't seem to file anything. This place is turning into a vortex of disorganisation, so, so big you couldn't ride a whale into it. I don't know, I've seen the size of a whale. Wait, what? Whales are pretty big. Damn, master key. Will, uh, will, location storeroom. Ah, so the will was in here. Okay, but it's in that chest, so we're gonna need the master key. Question is, oh, I know, we just found out the master key is around his belt. So we need to kill him, get the will, and happy days. Yes? Good. Don't be anyone down here. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Shush, 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 shush. There you go. Just don't bang your head on the chair and die like the other woman did at the oil estate. Note from Captain Blossom. The tomatoes in yesterday's dinner were overcooked. Really? Uh, you know how much I hate overcooked tomatoes. I like them crisp without, mu without that mushy consistency. Am I clear? Please do not ruin my dinner again. Really, so some overdone tomatoes was just... That's it. You had to throw a hissy fit, did you? You sad little man. 
Alright, medicinal halves. Bit of gold, not bad. Bit of gold, bit of gold, bit of gold. Dumb waiter. Ooh, there's quite a bit of processed oil down here, you know. Mine. And a bone charm. Healthy appetite, what is this? Nope. No point. Complete waste. Not putting it on. Keep air vent clean. So this is for where the odorous sack can go, right? But surely the odorous sack would kill him because it is plague. It's virtually plague gas. And you know what? No, no, no. I have to write this up. Whee! No, nope, keep going. Are you going to stop at each and every floor? <laughs> really? Wait. There's no, there's no switch. Go up. No! You son of a bitch! Fine. You know what? Screw your dumb waiter. I can run quicker. Okay, will location. We need the key. Oh, Timish. Oh, Timish, old chap. Are you here, old bean? There we go. Recovered it. Nothing happened. I didn't fall. I'm not an idiot. No, shush. Hey, come on, Timish. Don't be shy. Don't be timid, Timish. Oh, for God's sake, why is your house so big? You get paid too much money. What was that? Nope. Please what? help me. Here? Who sent you? Wrong way. Me won't solve anything. There you go. Wrong. Die, you old. Nope. Nope. Boop. Oh, you shot your urn. Don't. Don't even. No. You're not going to try and point blank shoot me. Ah, uh, legal immunity document and the master key has been obtained. You know, I'm going to do something nice for her because she did just get shot in the chest with a sleep dart. You can be in his bed. That was possibly the worst position you could have landed in to be now on his bed. And there's the rune in here. My, my pretty. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, that's just the shadow of her arm. Alright, what is this? Letter from the doctor. I'm afraid I cannot in good conscience remain your mother's physician. The way you repeatedly deny her access to practices which will potentially restore her lucidity is nothing short of a death sentence, and I wish no part of it. Good day to you, sir. Alright, this guy deserved to die in a much worse way. Right, madam, I'm afraid you might get blamed for all of this murder. It's a shame I can't dip your hands in blood to just solidify it, but it's okay. Whatever. It's, ooh, a jewel box. 100 gold. Lovely. Ooh, and a urn. You are a very generous man, and you know what I'm going to do to show off your generosity. I'm going to chuck you down here and hope rats find you. And chew your bones up. I'm going to see him go splat. Oh, nasty. All right, while we're here, I'm going to do Granny Rags's old thing. So we're meant to put it down in front of her um, at the feet of place tarot card. Uh, lay the tarot card of the world at the feet of the one with the black, where the eyes of the blackest void. Cut your palm and bleed on the card. Why didn't you just take your glove off? Now you've ruined a perfectly good glove. Cut your palm and bleed on the card. Done. Now what? Burn the bloody card at the hearth of a man whose dreams of being a lord. What? Hold on. Burn the burn the bloody card at the hearth. Of a man whose dreams of being a lord of all. Um. I don't know what that means. Maybe it has to be. It has to do with Timish. Is there a fireplace in Timish's like, area? Because he wants to seize all assets of bloody everything. Ah, oh, shit. Ark mine. Bye, bitch. Wait for it. There you go. Is that all? Don't wait. Don't you ring the alarm. Don't you bloody dare. Oh wait, the alarm's up here. What am I doing? Okay, uh, bullets just in case. No one? No? No one here? Good. Alright, back to what I was doing then. So is there a fireplace somewhere? Obviously there, there must be, surely. Here we go. I knew it. Alright, now what? Do I get a rune? Yay! Burn the bloody card of, uh, at the hearth of a man who dreams of being lord of all. And now we got a rune. Da, 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 da. We're missing a rune. I'm guessing that one were, uh, that's the one that we could have gotten a favour to then put down. Do we play this? Mother? No. This is Arnold. If you happen to awaken while no one is present, I've prepared this for you. 
to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you. This man's disgusting. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. You disgusting little twat. The worst thing is there are actually creatures like this in the real world. Ones that prey on their dying relatives. And it's sickening. Right. Chest, ingot, and... Ooh, Bonda Galvani Weave. I'm guessing that's to reduce damage taken. And now we need to grab the last will of their dear sleeping mother and happy days i was about to say that should not damage me and we got it let's go tim doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will he's giving the inheritance to Delilah. wait what am i doing what you should not have done that oh i've made the most terrible of uh decisions Thank you. All right, come back over here, gentlemen. There's an alarm I wish for you to... Oh. Great show, old boy. My god, all right. When they said that you was going to get a damage increase, I did not think it was like that. And also, if um, Timish... Sorry, just to read off what, that, uh, what we just said. If Timish was, in fact, going to give all of the inheritance to Delilah... Then that kind of changes what his niece said and why she's so pissy. And that also means that she lied quite badly. I don't like liars. They're not good people. Watchman's key needed. What? Since when was there a watchman's key? Okay. Oh, fuck. Um. Wait. Wait. Chat to this! Oh my god. Strike! That was pretty good. I like that. Uh, whoop. Let's go see what this guy says. Are you still here, good sir? No? Is this the door that needed a watchman's key? Yep, okay, so we've actually already been in here. Fair enough. Alright, let's go back and go see this ungrateful little swine of a girl. Ouch, that was stupid. We have gotten all the runes, we've gotten all of the blah, 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 bone charms, and we've also done the side mission for Granite Rags. Alright, return to the legal district waterfront to meet Thalia. Hi, Thalia. You entitled little cretin. Where are you? There we go. Praise the outsider. Alright, we can't actually get through this way. Nope, we've got to go around this way. In fact, we could... Just jump up and over, like so. Which would be incredibly easier. Alright, I am I dread talking to this one. Ho oh, ho ho. I can't remember if I turned that off or not. That was really close. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, we got some butchers over here. Wait for it. That was nearly fantastic. You dick. Why did you have to turn around? Didn't really matter, but I just wanted a kind of a clean sweep. Alright, all the butcher equipment. Beautiful. I don't want to carry your arm, thank you. It'd be disgusting. Alright, no rewire tools. We really need to get a couple of those, just in case. And in the future, get back to self. There's a white rat down there. Thalia and the docks. Okay, yeah, she did say she was going to wait by the docks. Oh, wait, why am I jumping over here? Just a quick check. No. Nothing. Good. Oh, Thalia. Ow. Really should stop doing that. Can I just kill her too? Just get rid of that wretched Uncle's breed. Dead. This is his will as agreed. Uncle's dead. I've killed now, haven't I? Well, no, I did. My, how odd that feels. But you seem you fine. Information. Well. My uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. 
beneath my family's class for certain. Well, fuck my you and your class. became infatuated. But he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, <laughs> standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dal. Oh, fuck. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. She's the Brigamore witch. She has here. to be. Surely. There's no... Surely there's no other... So much for the good reason behind it. He had it coming, though. Men like him can never trust anyone. His own niece turned on him. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go home. Shit. So what, is this going to be the end of this DLC and it's going to pick up a Brigamore witches? Or is it going to be one more mission? So we got six out of seven runes because we couldn't actually buy the favor. We got five out of five bone charms. One shrine, even though there was two. Yep. And over half the gold. So that's good. Happy days. I'm happy with that. Dord's hideout. Delilah is, is a powerful witch who leads a coven that uh, has moved into the ruins of the Brigamore Manor. See? You've returned to your hidden base in the flooded district to plan your next move. Jessamine and Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, the city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For a years, I held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. I.e. Billy. And we got improved armor and stealth boots. Wonderful. So we have 2,443 gold. There's no favors to get, so that's okay. We're going to get the improved armor and the boot stealth, one and two. We're going to get stun mine and uh, bone charm capacity, hell yes. Grenade capacity, not really fussed about that. Not really fussed about bolts at the moment. Because we're doing pretty fine on our own at the moment. Uh, we are going to max out our bolts and all of our other good little gadgets. Explosive bolt, yeah, we'll grab a few. Bullets, don't need them. Sleep dart, five out of ten is not bad. Arc mine. We might as well. Oh, bugger. We have not got enough for anything else. We got 8 out of 10 Sokolov and 10 out of 10 Piero. Start mission. Alright, we're in the sewers of somewhere. With no... Repel the Overseer attack. Meet with your assassins. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode off here. But it seems that we're reaching or bordering the end of this DLC. So that means we only have one more to go. Before this lovely daily series is uh, finished. And we get to move on to our next project. But hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know what you, what you think about this DLC, the storyline, and focusing on Dord and the, uh, well, mysterious Delilah, it seems, in the comment section down below. And finally, guys, if this is the kind of content that you do enjoy to watch, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We just hit 163 subscribers, which is bloody fantastic. We've gained 63 subs in just about a month, which I'm loving the growth. And the best thing is... The growth is earned legitimately. Anyone that's been on YouTube for a long while or a while will know what I mean by that. So yes, uh, but of course if you do decide to subscribe, there's always the added benefit of being able to keep up to date with all of our series. And if you're new here, we actually upload three videos a day, seven days a week, seven ongoing series. It's bloody fantastic stuff and I very much enjoy making content for you guys. But anyway, thank you all for watching and until next time, I shall see you all later.